that theme of this year is creative community. So I try to focus on different ways that we can express our creativity. And mm -hmm. I came out with, we have three weeks. So the first week I focus on art. Second week is going to be poetry. And the third week is going to be music. So every week I'm trying to, um, well, every day I try to focus on different artists. Like this week we focus on Monday on Frida Kahlo, then we did Picasso, and then we did uh, Leonard Paul from Canada. Um, and then yesterday we did Blanca Amesqua, that is a Mexican contemporary artist, um, and she lives in New York. And then next week is going to be different famous uh, poets, and then last week is we're going to focus on songs. Okay. And then I'm from Mexico, so I'm very influenced by Frida Kahlo and very powerful woman. So I wanted to introduce them. And she has a lot of pain on her life and a lot of tragedy. And we all go into life with things like that. And I just want to show that you can express some of that with art. My artwork is very colorful and it, I describe it as when in Mexico, when it's the day of the dead or you're having a party, you see lots of colors everywhere. For the day of the dead, you see red, yellow, and orange. And for your parties, you see your typical colors that like blue, green, red, and yellow. It's a sunset with a plant, it's like a field, and then like some mountains. I love Mexico. Well, it shows where I'm from, that there's really great food. Mm -hmm. And mm, there's, I was about to say it's pretty peaceful, but it's not. The parties are cool in Mexico. And uh, there's also the fair, the, there's fears that are cool too. Uh, the project was supposed to be like, they use like multiple materials. The drawing has to like express something that either you like or something about you or something you care about or something. So I'm Canadian and I drew animals that you mainly see in Canada, like deer and stuff, and like raccoons, for example. But um, I've been interested in like mythical creatures, like, like animals. 
so that's what I did. I like personalized each animal, so they look have like an interesting trait about each one of them. Um, but the main meaning overall was like each animal is unique in its own way, as in like not everyone is the same. But that's the nice part about it. It's like even though these are all different animals and they all look completely different, they all get along. Is that you can make anything you want with the paper that you have. This is the faded part. I just put um, oil pastel on the whole paper and then just blended it out. Mm -hmm.